That was the beginning of the Irish economic revival. Ireland pulled itself together, having won the Eurovision, and went on to greatness. And it owes it all to Dana. But the last rites had to be administered to some subsequent entries. That's what friends are for. I got a ferocious cold and I got a, a terrible congestion in my chest and I literally could not sing. He had to sing the song. If that man needs a helping hand, help him in from the rain. So remember. I was terrified to move because we were wearing platforms which were about that high. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, to make us look the same height. Netherlands. 12 points, Ireland, 3 points. But it was yards rather than inches that separated them from the winners. They finished ninth, but they took it well. I was disappointed also in the, the fact that the, the one that won it was called ding a Down, and I thought it was a load of nonsense, but there you are. It's nice to be in love again. That old familiar feeling when... They brushed off their disappointment, and two years later, they were back, plus two. Well, this time it looked more promising. With about four or five countries to go, um, we were leading. And uh, the, then it came to a few countries that Ireland were having a fishery war with. And from then on, we went, we were sag. <laughs> yep, it got worse. Ireland may be kings of Eurovision, but occasionally you'll find a rogue jester at the court of Europark. I beg to differ. But in 1980, Ireland's blushes were spurred by the coming of a saviour. Johnny Logan, Mr. Eurovision. Reaching out for you, but you aren't near. What's another charmed the judges, enchanted the audience, and soaked up the pressure. Still, what's another beer? A great victory, though, when you look at what came second, it puts it in perspective. Because you can tell it's a shit thing to win, simply by the fact that we won it seven times and nobody's ever complained. For the last time, hold me now. Johnny won again in 87 and wrote Linda Martin's winner five years later and three victorious but boring ballads in the 90s with interval entertainment from the so-called Lord of the Dance ensured Ireland remain kings of the spangles and flares. So, Irish eyes are smiling. 34 appearances, winners seven times, 154 points. So long, farewell, Al Vidice, goodbye. Adios! Au revoir! Ciao, baby! Shalom! I wonder how many of you were thinking, as I was, watching the show, of the miracle which has carried this program across seas and mountains and forests, of what it has all meant in terms of human skill, ingenuity and inventiveness. Eurovision. Eurovision. Oh, uh -huh.